So as you guys probably know, we built an off-grid solar energy system to power uh, the off-grid well up at the Derby Canyon Retreat. And you know, when I built it, I didn't put much thought into the fact that those batteries would be reaching freezing temps. You know, if you think about it, your car batteries have that happen all the time, um, other scenarios like that. But I did a little bit of research and it came to my attention that you can definitely damage your batteries by having them reach freezing temps, especially if you're trying to charge them. So I went ahead and took care of that. So during my last trip to the Derby Canyon Retreat, I built a box to insulate the batteries, which will power our off-grid well. That video drops tomorrow, so be sure to sub and click the bell to get notifications so you'll be notified when that comes out, because it did turn out pretty good. It was a little insulation box that I installed some battery heaters inside. They're basically heating pads, and they're actually running off the batteries themselves. Uh, it's a pretty slick little install, so if you're interested in seeing how that came out, uh, be sure to subscribe and click that bell so you'll get that notification when that video drops tomorrow. Free is located outside of Leavenworth in Washington, which is in the Cascade Mountains. It's at about 3,000 foot elevation. Uh, we definitely experienced, you know, freezing temps for weeks at a time, and I certainly expect those batteries to be below freezing. So I jumped on Google and found what seemed to be the few good articles uh, from what I gather on lithium ion battery cells can be damaged from too cold attempts and a failure to hold their charge. The site's Battleborn Batteries made the claim that if you charge a lithium ion battery during freezing temps, you can cause damage due to dendritic lithium action. It's essentially metallic growth forming on the anode and liquid interface during charging. This can cause short circuiting, a uh, fire and decreased capacity. They recommended a heat pad and I included a few of those in my installation box. You know, the fact that you could instantly have fire was a big, big concern for me because no one is up there at that property. That's my off grid land. No one lives around it. And I built that well house in the solar and all that. It's probably got about four grand invested in it. So I definitely want to make sure I protect that structure. There are also batteries that have an internal heater built in. And I did not realize that until I started doing this research. So basically I built an insulation box that has heater pads built into it, but it sounds like they manufacture batteries that have those pads essentially built into the battery. Again, I'm kind of curious to know if anyone out there has had experience with those if those work well you know for me and my projects being off-grid being remote being in colder climates i think that's something i'll definitely be looking into in the future the system i ended up installing up at my well house has two 100 amp hour batteries the heat pad is rated at 12 volts and 12 watts now, the wattage should be dependent on the draw which will be dependent upon the internal temp of the box assuming the worst we'd be drawing 12 watts around the clock and doing my math if I'm doing my math correctly, that should be 288 watt hours a day. Another way to look at this is it will pull one amp hour. However, amp hours do not tell us capacity. They tell us draw capacity and the amperage we can serve. The 100 amp hour 12 volt battery will have a capacity of 1200 watt hours. Even if we were to draw 300 watts per day, we should have eight days worth of power for the heater between both batteries, which should be more than ample to power these mats. My mission is self-reliance through sustainable living, and we're here to build a community. Click here to subscribe to be sure to get more awesome content for living off the land. And be sure to go in to enter for notifications. Click that bell, get notifications, and stay in tune. Subscribe, watch, and comment. Let's build a community. See you soon.